I start with the creating roads. Major district roads are those connecting a national highway and state highway. And we should, should have at least 10 kilometers in length. Then minor arterial roads. Those are connecting major arterial road and state highways or uh, national highways. Then village roads, municipal roads, or uh, corporation roads are local roads. Then if a uh, road is ending uh, the, in a particular place, a small road, those are called terminal roads. panel discussion here which is on community mapping and its relevance to Kerala. It's uh, really uh, on the uh, mapping and its usefulness and uh, importance to uh, Kerala. We have uh, four panelists uh, with me. I actually none of them uh, require an introduction. Uh, let me thank you all. Uh, first of all, for having organized this extremely fruitful venture. Uh, you know, I, I just, uh, I, I think I told somebody about a particular very interesting and funny remark that was, uh, that I came across today uh, in a magazine, Malayalam magazine, Matyama, uh, a piece written by one of our friends, Aniva, I don't know whether he is here, because uh, he said that this whole fear about, uh, you know, uh, this uh, Google mapping, is actually completely unfounded and he has said that it is like um, I think it was absolutely remarkable comment that it, it sort of encompasses the entire uh, a, a, you know, issue of uh, uh, the fear or the, the kind of uh, the xenophobic kind of fear or the quixotic kind of fear that is the next But Maths were integral to Civilization. Uh, my ancient mayor nation was that. Uh, it was also used for wars, no doubt. So always there will be negative use for maps. It can be used. It, it is so integral. In fact, even the mapping technology of today came from uh, uh, satellite imaging for uh, defense purposes. So, yeah, so it's not uh, that strange that uh, some people are. Still afraid of the technology. So ultimately, for effective planning, for the decision makers, we need exact data at location. The main issue for you know, for any relief operation or for addressing health issue, even to address the agriculture sector, the lack of data, that to the spatial data with relevant details, is the main concern or the main grey area still even in government. That's what I feel. In that way, by taking all these considerations, all these concerns into account, we should have a clear strategy to strengthen the democracy, to strengthen, to empower the citizen, and I think such efforts, uh, this will be such an attempt or uh, you will continue with such attempts uh, in further also. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, we as a community want to tell the world that we have nothing to hide. There's nothing secretive that's happening in this room. And that whatever is happening here uh, should be transparently projected to the rest of the world. Uh, this transparency is uh, very essential for us. And from that point of view, I think media, even if they bend facts a little bit, uh, media presence is welcome. How do we persuade the government to be more open towards this technology and utilize it 
for the benefit of everybody. As a Tamilu we are committed to the citizens in Kerala using this technology to gain benefits. Thank you. Way of concluding the whole thing that we need to bring in more people into this community, uh, mapping community, and what and as Satish has, and you have uh, said that it is not just Google Map. The requirement is maps. And there is no other source of maps now which is as detailed as the electronic form of maps. We don't get paper maps and we can't think of those days of paper maps. So we have in every respect to encourage mapping. And just like in free software, uh, the, uh, the free software community has a responsibility. And so community mapping has a role and I feel that will come more and more. Uh, it will help the uh, uh, you know, defense services if the community maps rather than it being held in secretive places. So I would like to conclude uh, by thanking all of you, thanking the people on the dais, uh, the delegates who have come, uh, I would like to thank all of you who have come from other parts of Kerala as well as Trivandrum for coming here. So let's conclude this and thanks to all.